Hi friends, today's lesson is for Module 4, Lesson 3. Our learning goal for today says, I can make number bonds filled with drawings and numbers. Numbers? Oh good! You know what I do not feel like doing today? I do not feel like drawing a lot. And you know what? I don't have to because I know a lot about numbers. And the reason why we can use those good numbers or those digits is because I'm getting really good, and I bet you are too, of picturing that amount in my good brain. Remember we talked about visualizing the other day? So like if I thought of the number three, maybe I'll picture three cats. Yeah, I can picture it. So since I can have that good picture in my brain, since I'm really good at visualizing, I can do a shortcut. And instead of having to draw all the time, I can just use the numbers. Man, I'm super excited about this. So here we go. All right, so I went to the zoo the other day because, you know, I love the zoo. And I saw some beautiful birds while I was there. In one cage, I saw two flamingos. I mean, they're so beautiful. In another cage, I saw three little bluebirds. Aren't they so cute? So I'm just wondering right now, how many birds did I see all together? What's the whole group of birds that I saw? How many would that be? Hey, press pause. You figured out how many birds should be in my whole amount. Because look it, I've organized it so nicely in my number bond. Those are the two parts. One part flamingo, one part bluebird equals how many all together? Press pause while you figure it out. Press play to check yourself. Okay, how many birds did I see? Let's see, two flamingos and three bluebirds. Hey, that's five birds all together. One, two, three, four, five. Is that what you thought? Oh, you're so good. Perfect. Okay, now, oh, I'm so excited because we're going to put them into numbers now because I do not want to draw anymore. So, if I have two flamingos, what number would I write as one of my parts? Yeah, two. And if I saw three bluebirds, what number would I write as one of my parts? Yeah, three. I can go ahead, I could do a drawing if I wanted to, or I could switch it out for just the number. Now, if I have one part that's two and the other part that's three, what number would be the whole amount? Ding, 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 ding. Did you say five? Good job. You know what I did? I'm so sneaky. I, I mean, I thought about counting the picture, which you could do, but I also just used my counting sticks on my hand, and I put up two, and then I put up three more, and I saw that that was five, so I got my whole amount. So our number bond that has the numbers in it is exactly matching the one that has the pictures in it. That's what we're going to practice today. We're going to practice talking about parts and whole amounts using the pictures and the numbers. Are you ready? Perfect. I want you to go ahead and go get a dry erase board and a marker because I'm going to have you do the number writing today. Ooh. Press pause while you go get your materials and then press play to check yourself. Okay, are you ready? I said check yourself, but I mean when you're ready to go to the next problem. All right, so here we go. Don't draw anything yet. You can actually set your marker down for a minute, but I just wanted you to be prepared. All right, so here's my number bond. And with your finger, can you go ahead and tap on the part of the number bond that's going to be the whole amount? Yeah, good job. Remember, the paths go up from the part to meet to the whole amount. That's where we're, like, adding them to, together. All right, so I saw one peacock. He's so fancy. And then in another time I saw, ooh, four little hummingbirds. They're so cute and tiny, aren't they? Now, what would my whole amount of birds be? I saw one peacock and four hummingbirds. So what would my whole amount be? Ooh, nice. Did you say five? Yeah, it said one, two, three, four, five. Now, I could draw that, of course, like I did here. But we're working on adding those numbers, right? So this is what I would like you to do. I want you to go ahead and draw an empty number bond. Go ahead and press pause while you do that. Don't fill it in yet. Just totally empty. And then press play. Okay, are you ready? Perfect. So here is my empty number bond. <laughs> Do you see what I did? I felt a little wild today. I twisted it. Instead of putting the whole amount on the top, I put my whole amount over here. What did you do? Oh, does yours match this one? Their whole amount's right there and the two parts go down the path? That's fine. Does it matter if our number bond is turned at all? Nah, he can be all over the place. As long as I have my two parts connected by their path to the whole amount. 
That's all that really matters. Okay, so in one of the parts, we're going to draw the number that would match this one peacock. So what number would you draw in your parts? Go ahead and do it, and then check yourself. All right, did you put a one in one of the parts? Good job, because there's one peacock. What about look at those hummingbirds in the other part? What's the other part that we would fill? What number would we use? Ooh, go ahead and write them. Did you write four? Good job. How did you come up with that? Yeah, you counted all of the hummingbirds, remember? One, two, three, four, that's the other part. Okay, excellent job. We are rocking and rolling with these numbers. This is way faster than drawing all the time. Do you agree? Yeah, totally. All right, so if one is one of the parts and four is the other part, how many do we have all together? Good job. Yeah, we have five. Awesome. You can count on if you want. Whoopsie, I went too fast. You could say the bigger number, four, and then count on one more to be five. Four, five to get to that whole amount. What else could you do? Yeah, you could just count all the birds that made the whole group, too. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, I like it. Go ahead and erase your board. You can go ahead and draw an empty number bond again if you would like to get ready and then put your marker down. Press pause if I'm going too fast and then press play when you're ready. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I have two number bonds and I like kind of put them like all over the place. You just should have one. I'm going to show you the picture of my completed one with the drawings and then I want you to try to fill in the empty number bond with just the numbers. All right, super challenge. So one of my parts were two polar bears. Another part were three panda bears, and they're so cute. And all together, my whole amount would be five bears to, all together. Two polars plus two pandas, or sorry, plus three pandas equal five bears. All right, I want you to go ahead, since we're working on writing those numbers in our number bonds, I want you to look at my number bond with the drawings and fill in your number bond with the numbers. Now take your good time, use that finger to count if you need to. Press pause while you work and then press play to see if yours matches mine. Okay, are you ready friends? Don't keep going if you don't have your number bond filled in with your numbers. All right, so here we go. I know that I saw how many polar bears as one of the parts. Perfect, two, excellent. And then I saw how many panda bears as the other part. Three, good job. How did you come up with those numbers? Yeah, you just looked at the drawing, right? One, two, polar bears. One, two, three, panda bears. Perfect. You're so good. And then our whole amount would be what? Hmm, two polar bears plus three panda bears equals how many bears? Oh, my word. You're amazing. Yes, five is our whole amount. Because if you have the polar bears and you have the panda bears and you put them together in a group, you're going to have five bears in all. Friend, I am so impressed by you. Are you impressed by yourself? Well, you should be. You should be so proud of yourself. All right, let's keep cruising. Go ahead and erase your board. Now, our learning goal for today said, I can make number bonds filled with drawings and numbers. That's exactly what we've been doing today. Now, what I would like you to do right now is go ahead and draw another empty number bond, all right? Now, what you're going to see saw to your teacher is, the number bond with just the numbers. Here is a picture of my suitcase, I'm going on a trip, with my pants and my sweaters in there. I want you to draw a number bond that matches this picture number bond, okay? So make sure you have your parts and then your whole amount with just the numbers. All right, good luck, friends. 